The most common problem that we have with clarinets, particularly student clarinets when they're new, are problems with the lower ring keys here. And the problem happens because the clarinet is assembled incorrectly. And the reason is in the area where the problem occurs is this little linkage here. You see me wiggling that up and down? And what that linkage does is it connects these buttons here to this button up at the top. And if you put the clarinet together wrong, basically if you don't press that button and raise the linkage when you align it, you push the linkage out of the way and it creates problems with the, the lower notes on the clarinet. So, if your clarinet has a problem with the lower notes, I'll demonstrate. This one has been pushed completely out by the, uh, by the customer who sent it back to me. So, um, I'm going to blow it and you're going to hear the instrument choking on the lower note. And, I, and if I press it harder, you'll, you'll hear it sound. But it should go down nice and easily. So, here's the first test. If you want to test if the problem is with your linkage, all your holes are in one straight line. If you twist the instrument like that, what you're doing is you're disconnecting the linkage. And that means that the lower notes are independent from the higher notes. And the instrument will be all cock a hoop, but if I blow it now, you can hear those lower ring keys are sitting down nice and low on the tone hole. So if you come in here and have a quick look, what we want, these, these ring keys should go down and they should sit level with the top of the tone hole. If I reconnect the linkage, because the linkage has been pushed out of alignment, when I press it down, can you see it doesn't sit on the tone hole. So what we need to do, what has happened here, is this little arm has been, has been pushed out of alignment. So what we need to do is create, we need to push this piece up a bit and it will create more movement for these lower keys to go down. See this part here connects with this part here. The lower section should always go underneath the upper section. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my thumb and I'm just going to push it up. If you look at that, I'm going to push it up and then when I reassemble the clarinet Always remember, push this button down and raise the linkage. You get it out of harm's way, push it together, twist it together, and then you lower the linkage. Now, you can see that these two buttons, these three ring keys, are sitting down nice, nicely level with the top of the tone hole. Now, what we have to do is adjust it a bit more here now, because when you press these buttons down, this button should also go down and you should be able to see there's a little bit of movement there and that's being caused because I've pushed the linkage up just a little bit too far so if I press my finger down on that and just push down on the linkage a little bit then what I've got what I want to end up with is these buttons sitting down evenly on the ring keys and when I press these buttons down, I don't get any movement on this button. The reason for this is because God only gave us 10 fingers and thumbs, and there are 12 notes in the chromatic music scale. So now, this linkage, when I press it, is not restricting the movement of these ring keys, but it's also enabling this key to move. And now, hopefully, I can play the lower notes with a minimum of finger pressure. And also I've got my uh, higher note here and, uh, and that should, should solve your problem. It's very easy to fix but if you don't assemble your clarinet properly from the start this, ha this problem will happen time and time again as surely as if you drive your car into a wall it will develop dents. So, it's very easy to fix, but you must take instruction on the correct procedure for assembling your clarinet. Remember this button. Good luck.